Now, in the Bible, today the scripture with the first two, the first three verses tells us about calling. Okay? It, call, it calls, yeah? something is calling, and what the Bible tells us that wisdom is calling. Okay? And that's what chapter 8 tells us, that wisdom is calling out. All right, and call it. And before that, we seven which we, we didn't finish, okay, we didn't do. Okay, Pastor, going to the first part, we are going to do this, uh, the last part of chapter seven is talking about uh, foolish, okay, and we know that foolish, okay, is personalized as a personified, uh, personified as a lady, so it's wisdom. So this in chapter seven tells us that there's another voice coming out. Not only wisdom is shouting, is crying. Another voice also telling out that it's a foolish and adulterous woman is also shouting out to people. Okay, they're shouting out to people and so is wisdom. All right? And we know that when we read chapter 7, it's solely about an adulterous woman who's shouting out to people to come and to come to the wrong way. So there are voices coming, and so and there's also wisdom. And then in the today verse, it tells us that that the, that there are places the wisdom are calling out. So just now, many of us are from different background, okay, and from different areas of life. So the wisdom is also not only calling out in the church. Not only in church we have we hear or we listen to wisdom. Uh, speak by a pastor or for yeah, older people. Okay? And in this verse, it tells us wisdom calls out uh, from the heights along the way, okay? from where the paths meet, besides the gates, the entrance in every area. In fact, wisdom, from chapter 8, tells us that they've been crying out so it starts from call and then it cries out. So it's a proclamation, proclaiming out to, to people, huh? crying out. There are people. So it's not silence. When you, when you say that there's no wisdom, it's not silence. It's actually calling out. Okay. And we know that <coughs> the, another name of wisdom, another name for wisdom is understanding, okay, along with insights and not... Um, and wisdom is not the same as what the worldly wisdom is telling us. Worldly wisdoms, okay, and we're talking about godly wisdom, which is telling us where we know God's wisdom, the wisdom that's telling us about God will lead us to Him. That what worldly wisdom that we learn, we can learn something which is good, but it will lead us to humanism. That means talking about men, man power, man goodness, man position, all this. But you're talking here is about divine wisdom. So the divine wisdom has been calling out everywhere. Calls from a distance and near and to the right next to us call. She's around every corner. She's at every crossroad on the hill and here with her walk down the road. She waits by the door at the entrance and exit. She's at the movie theater. She's at the sundry shop. She's at the hospital. She's at the bar. Wherever we go, wisdom is there. So, people of God, and this is written to the people, to the Israelites people, are we listening or not? Are we listening? Are we listening to the God's wisdom that's calling? God's calling. And then, so in this chapter, in this chapter, uh, eight to, chapter 8, 1 to 11, okay, there are four questions. The, four, the first question is, where wisdom call? Which I already told you is that all oh, everywhere, every place. The second question is, to whom wisdom call? Who is this wisdom calling to? Verses 4 to 5. And it's all from the way it says, men, and to all men, and especially, especially to simple men or naive. Okay, and naive men, and also to foolish men. Here it says simple men or naive people. Okay, not only men are also there are naive women. Here it's talk about general mankind, everyone. Uh, okay, simple men are those who believe most anything and examine very little. So they are not careful. They just listen to anything. They don't. Ex they say accept it. They just accept it. Okay, there is no filter. Okay, naive men are no filter. Just accept it simply. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of naive, they accept everything, all right? And 
And the second group of people is especially to all is the foolish people, those who ignore understanding. Those who don't want to know, they only want to hear their own voice. They only want to hear and to know their own experience. Okay? But they do not want to open to listen. They do not want to listen to God's wisdom. 